Cheers people and welcome back and if you're anything like me and I'm guessing most of you are then your Christmas looks something like this. Mate I've absolutely fucked it here. I've got a McDonald's, Chris, beef sandwich, chocolates and sweets like Christmas day feed is seriously in place. Absolute and transparency here for the YouTube fans. I am going to scram this whole fucking 250 grams of chocolate peanuts on the way to... Not going to lie to you. The jet skiing, the hike, none of it happened. We couldn't find the hike this morning. And then we were sick of the fucking heat, so we got a place of air kind of lay in bed all day and had snacks. Not ideal, and You probably went into it with the best of intentions, but being how we are, it's Christmas, there's food around. Mine was no really no excuse. I was on holiday. The weather was too hot to move, so we were pretty much in aircon rooms the whole time because it was like 42 to 44 degrees, and there was nothing really to do other than eat shit because you couldn't really leave your room because it was too fucking hot. Now, with the new year, everyone wants to get back into the swing of things. So, me personally, I'm going to do a three full week mini cut just to get back in the shape I was in. This is my current condition. As you can see, it's not ideal. The physique has taken a bit. I've a hit. I also haven't got any scales because I'm still away at the minute. So if I weigh myself when I get home, that'll be in like two or three days. Also, the video where I do look very podgy at the bottom of my belly. But three or four weeks and that'll all be gone. Okay. I'm not going to do anything too mad. I'm just going to do 2,600 calories every day. Train normally. Maybe do a bit more cardio just because I'm thinking of doing a bit more cardio this year. But if I do cardio on those days, I'll just eat more calories. And I'm still away on holiday, so I haven't got any gym, so it's going to just be some calisthenics and some light weights for the first few days. And when I get back home in a few days, I'll get back into my program. But I'm going to go for my morning walk, to just get some steps in before I start the day, plan out some stuff. So I'll take you on that. And then back home and probably get some breakfast to me until work out. So here we are, first meal of the day, easy, oats, banana, nothing too crazy, just keep it simple, especially when I'm dieting, just trying to keep the foods as basic as possible to, so it's no more added ingredients, and yeah, just going to smash this off, then get on with the day, probably do a workout soon, that's when I'll catch you next. Thank you. 
still fairly late. So I've gone for two protein bars, high fiber quest bars to keep me full until I actually get a proper meal, which I will catch you at next. So, got some food. Can't be asked to cook. So just got a roast. Don't know why I put that in front of my face. Roast chicken, cut some salad up, and this will be the final product. Yeah, move the Pepsi out of the way. And here we go, standard procedure. Two chicken wraps, back on eating healthy. Gonna eat this food, then hopefully get to do some jet skiing if it's open, but it is New Year's Day, so we're very hesitant of that fact. Catch you there. position as me and you need that little mini cut or maybe even a full cut maybe you fucked it big time and you need to do that for 12 weeks <laughs> I doubt it though but the worst thing you could do right now the absolute worst thing is to drop your calories low do loads of cardio because that's just gonna fuck you over in the long run like you want to treat it as you would any other cutting process take it slow start off on a moderate calorie deficit move more get back in with your current workout schedule lift heavy and it will come off a lot quicker than you think guys like i've given myself four weeks but i probably it probably won't take that long it'll probably take two three weeks and i'll be sound again but i always like to give a rule of thumb like however long you fucked up for it's going to take you twice as long to get it back because more often than not, if we eat shit for two days, four days, feel good. If we eat shit for one day, one day good, you feel good. So I like to scale that up and I give that as like my my rule of thumb. So I slipped up for, I think it was about 10, 11 days. Like eight or nine of those days were real overeating days. So it's not ideal, but it should take me no more than two or three weeks to get it back on track but obviously that is with you not being an absolute gargantuan fat mess like i slipped up a little bit i wasn't like maybe i was 1000 cows over some days 500 some maybe even 2000 some but i was never like 4000 calories over what i should have been eating so always got to take into account how much you fucked up and you will know that like you can't really eat three four thousand calories over your maintenance calories for three or four days in a row so you probably know that you're not that fucked so just don't let it get to your head keep on track with your diet just get back into the this is so fucking windy i don't even be able to wear this but just get back in to the swing of things and you'll feel better in no time just going to the shop to get some stuff for dinner so i'll catch you at the last meal of the day so final meal of the day Got salmon, 150 grams salmon, 200 grams of mixed veg, mushroom, onions, carrot, courgette, cooked in the oven. I've gone for lower carb this meal because I'm eating a, I'm watching a movie and I want to eat some popcorn alongside that movie. So cut the carbs out of this, add more carbs later on. Doing little swaps like that really helps when you're dieting because you can still enjoy foods and the vegetables are very filling, high fiber, which is, allows this meal to keep me fuller, as well as being able to enjoy treats. And the popcorn is a whole high volume, which keep me fuller. So win, win, check, check. All about that good fucking high fiber, high volume food to make you feel full and satiated. Even though I don't really need it because all I've been doing is being full and satiated for the past two weeks. Jesus Christ, I can waffle some shit on air, can't I? I'm gonna eat this and then show you me eating popcorn, and then we're done. 
Okay then, finish off the video, about to watch a movie, and decide how much to watch it. Gonna eat this caramel bag of popcorn. It has about 500 calories in the whole bag. High volume, you can eat it for a while, so it keeps you busy. But, yeah, to finish off, if you've been eating shit over the Christmas period, don't let it get you down. Don't let it get on top of you. Just get back into your normal routine. Go on a little calorie deficit if you want to lose some weight. Don't get too tangled up in tell telling yourself bad things and punishing yourself for it because these are times of the year that you're supposed to enjoy yourself. God, I wish I could actually implement all this stuff into my own life because that would be a lot more happier place to be, wouldn't it? But, as always, thanks for watching. I'm going to enjoy this popcorn. Peace out. Bicep looks tiny. Need to get lean again so it can look bigger. Safe.